Hi guys, Take James here. So I've been seeing quite a few of these PS Vita memory cards on eBay recently. Um, basically people are just getting 8GB memory cards or maybe 16GB and just installing the HNCore update on them and then they're just selling them for obviously a lot more than the memory card is actually worth. So PS Vita memory cards are actually quite expensive. Um, this one right here, this 8GB one, I was looking them up. You can buy one for around about £15. So that's what, about like $18 or something like that. Um, I'll probably have to check. But yeah, basically um, what these people are doing is they are getting these um, 8 gigabyte memory cards, they are installing HNCore on them and then just selling them for pretty much um, double the price. So as you can see, pretty much all of them on here are like $15, some are 30. Um, so you can actually pick one up um, for a fairly reasonable price. You will need this on the FAT console if you do wish to install the custom firmware. If you don't have one of these, um, then it just won't work. So yeah, I'm not sure if these are worth it. Obviously with the new tool, um, we can, I think it's called like Auto Hencore Installer. I did do a video on it and that is actually very fast and we can install it on there very quickly. So this one isn't as bad. Um, they also do say it comes with stuff. Um, like obviously like PK, uh, GJ, Auto Plugin, RetroArch, but you can obviously get these things um, very easily for free and you don't actually need to install them. I actually recognize um, some of the stuff like from my videos. Like, I've actually made a video on that Vita shell like customization so maybe some of these people have actually watched my videos. It honestly wouldn't surprise me and there isn't really much PS Vita homebrew content on YouTube I guess um, but yeah kind of interesting. So if you do decide to buy one of these uh, and you put it in it will not work um, straight away. So if you buy one put it into your PS Vita um, you will need to actually do something to get these to work. So in this video, I will also be showing you how to get a memory card with files installed to work on your PS Vita. It's kind of simple, but you still need to do it. Also, when buying these, make sure it's the same version as your PS Vita. Um, so these are actually set up for certain versions. So as you can see, this one here is set up for free. 0.68 so if you bought one that was um, like set up with 3.65 it probably just wouldn't work so yeah what i'll do go onto my ps vita show you a new memory card and show you guys how to set it up so actually on your playstation vita if it's turned on like this you want to hold the power button for a few seconds and then it just tap on power off from here you will actually need to put in your memory card. Now I wouldn't actually recommend buying one um, already hacked, um, but this pretty much will show you what to do if you do get one that's already hacked. Um, it's easier just to buy one, um, just like a blank one, and then actually install it yourself. But the memory cards just go in to the slot down here. Now this is actually only um, on the fat PS Vita. If you have the slim, you can actually use the internal storage. Now once the memory card is in, we still need to do something else. We need to do a button combination to access the recovery menu. So you have to hold the home button, left, right and power. Keep on holding that down. So once you see the PlayStation logo, you can let go of the button, um, just the power button. And this is the option we need to select, rebuild database. So make sure you just press X on this. Yes. Now your PS Vita is just going to rebuild the database and then restart. What this does is takes the apps from your memory card and actually puts them on your PS Vita's home screen. So let's just give this PS Vita a few seconds to rebuild the database and then it's going to reboot the system. So now once it's restarted, let's just go onto it. Everything will be refreshed and you should have all your apps on here so this is the main app you will have it depends what they've put on the SD card for you but you will need to start up HNCore first of course just tap on yes I've actually got QCore so it's going to start but you would just select install so on this part you would select install install Vita shell and as you can see my custom firmware is now running so yeah I'm not too sure about this I'm not quite sure why um, apparently people are buying them I guess but yeah I think it's much better to get a blank memory card and install it yourself um, but this is what you do if you've got apps missing as well so um, yeah I guess rebuilding the database does fix quite a lot of stuff so that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one